Hello my dear friends and welcome again to Adventure Story Channel Live. Today my dear friends I will have a special session. It will be a little bit different. The, all the other sessions was with a webcam only and now I have set up as I tell you yesterday I have set up uh, my software so we can see some information from the monitor from the desktop and also we can discuss with the chat here together first of all we will see these uh, 11 things 11 items we will talk about them and I will share also my knowledge about that so it will be very very nice I started little bit earlier because I cannot wait for the time uh, to talk with you so I can tell it again and again if you like if you have lost something so I believe everything is fine if somebody it's already inside please tell me that you are listening properly uh, this live stream so I need some confirmation that our session is uh, very very good with sound and the stream so also I have updated my internet connection and that uh, really helps to make uh, more better and more better quality uh, streams also in the end of the session after we see all these things uh, we will talk about we will some make some questions some answers and will be really really interesting so uh, I will wait for 10 minutes more for all the person to join and start to write so one of the guys here Yana Rosadi if I'm totally correct asking what is the function of inner gas and the scrubber the function of inner gas and the scrubber system uh, together will reduce the oxygen content and by processing this is the necessary part to process our gases that coming out from the boiler from exhaust gas uh, exhaust gas boiler or not gas boiler uh, auxiliary boiler first of all we have two boilers two big boilers which one of them we can use for inerting the exhaust gases going out from the boiler where they are produced by the burning of the fuel or the diesel depends what fuel we burn and these gases will go to the process from the scrubber the inner gas system calls all that parts that includes like scrubber boilers oxygen analyzers uh, all that system and regulators and also some other monitoring system this all called inner gas system which is located also in the uh, accommodation area in the ship's office there is area where we monitor all the items uh, of the inner gas there is also panel there and also the other panel locates in the engine room so we have one guy uh, enter now uh, hello sir Tilu Baba hello sir after a long time you are coming live yes really really after a long time because I do not have a, a really good connection that's why I like to make a video a live video with uh, some images not only talking in the web camera so it will be nice and we can make more questions by seeing something okay it's also more easy for me to have uh, some interaction uh, with you 
So, Tilu, uh, we have a good sound. Please confirm that. Uh, so I will know also that everything is fine and the voice is clear. I try also as much as possible to, if need to increase the level of voice. So we will wait a little bit more, seven minutes. I, I started a little bit earlier, so I like to see that everything is fine. Thanks, sir, for all the video you make and sharing your knowledge. Thank you to you also that you are part of this big community. Already we have reached 12,400 uh, members that have subscribed to the channel. And it's really, really a big amount of people that watching the videos. And I'm really, really lucky that these videos helps most of the people that join uh, in the marine engineering so thank you for your confirmation dear friends the sound is fine so i will keep these settings for the next live sessions and uh, the live sessions also depends from you how often you would like to make them so we will wait six minutes more to start so uh, I want to make a question to you guys how the COVID affects now uh, on the marine industry itself and mostly on the seafarers as I have seen there is a lot of impact of our industry mostly in the seafarers area okay the office it's a point that they have to protect themselves with a mask, with uh, some work from the home, but how the seafarers are protected. I have seen that we are not protected at all, in all meanings. Also, uh, going on board, it is more difficult. And my experience uh, that I will share with you is that uh, I have stay almost one year in 10 days or yes 15 days will be one year on the shore so my plan was join a vessel on march and since that since the really really strict uh, enforcement of the laws globally and in, on the ports itself that was really really difficult to join a vessel so i communicate with uh, the crew manager and he told me there is on the march okay on the march date and there is not any way to join the vessels because they are afraid that the virus will be spread on the crew itself and the vessel will go to the quarantine so that was uh, our communication and that information also i share with you how it was uh, so we will have a a vision what is going on so also I have checked and also there is some sites with a help for Siemens so there is a site uh, that you can find if you write ports uh, restrictions and you will see a map so there is a world map and then uh, you will see all the ports and all the regulations that needed uh, to join on board the vessel. There is a lot of papers, a lot of tests that a crew member must do and also some ports like Malaysia port. Uh, you will need to stay for 14 days quarantine on on signers and off signers also and a lot of papers to do. So Tilu Baba told that COVID affected badly, sir, mainly crew change. I was supposed to join on board in April 2020, but due to these immigration issues, I couldn't join. Hopefully, by next month, at least, I will join. So, yes, this is really also a long time, Tilu, to stay outside. Uh, also, yes, it's uh, one thing that I'm thinking that if we stay so long uh, ashore 
Uh, also, this affects not only our knowledge. Okay, we stay a little bit back because we have already a, a different lifestyle. Okay, when we are assured and little bit when we go back again, we have to adjust and to take some time until the adjustment. Mostly, if you make a sign on and sign off three months and three months like that or four months and uh, four months it will be okay you will need about two weeks to adjust again or one month maximum but now if if the time is so prolonged it maybe it will take a little bit longer and uh, that point it's uh, really really important to understand also for, from the crew that are on board that we will need some time to make an adjustment when we are going on board so normally the person uh, and uh, the departments must not press uh, the person at all the points uh, and there is pressure like work pressure and psychological pressure everything must be adjusted depends uh, the situation so okay i also i have the great news to share with you i have already took the license of chief engineer i'm officially uh, with license of chief engineer but uh, i will need to apply my knowledge through the vessel uh, sometime in the future so hopefully it will be very very nice to do that okay we will have uh, some time until going there okay maybe i will join one more time as second engineer but i have communicated many times with chief engineers that i know previously and they tell me that you will not have any uh, problem on board the vessel so hopefully the management and the proper communication with the people is the number one priority and my priority was always that from the point of apprentice engineer and uh, the level of and lo the lowest level of engine room thank you tilu baba uh, because i really really like to see many different second engineer and chief engineer and to see how they work and also compare what i will do in the future that was a point that I really really like to share with you and you also will see how you will improve your management and your system of working so by shouting by making agur with something nothing will be uh, better than will be much much worse so it's better to have a good climate and everything and all the jobs will be done with the less effort and with the most uh, effect and effective so already we are eight o'clock and we can start our 11 things we will see this is small issues that have been found uh, on top cruise ships and this is deficiencies from 2014 year so some of them uh, also we can see in our vessels and many of them I have seen through the time that working on board and I like to read them and discuss with you first of all fire doors fire screen doors not operating properly 55 occurrences in that year just imagine 55 so 55 occurrences probably this, this is 55 vessels that was checked by US Coast Guard and found these deficiencies. The most frequent deficiency was the fire screen doors were not operating properly. Fire screen doors were found to have damage to the squeezing bars, damage to the doors themselves or pressure differential between spaces on either side of the door causing them not properly closing. The majority of these deficiencies were corrected prior to the examiners finishing their exams. I have seen a lot of doors like that. I have seen a lot of doors squeezed and really this takes a very very little time through the day of the working to fix that things. 
to the doors, it's really really important thing on board the vessel. For the vent of fire will be not spread as far. And also for the case of firefighting and extinguisher fire, the doors if will be tied with the rope as we have seen in the engine room many many times. Uh, Euler does that. Okay, somebody put that. Let's say second engineer put that. Not only Euler's. So it's better the doors to be always closed. You will win a time. A, you will save time for running down and close the doors. Just imagine if, let's say, the purifier room will take fire. And as we have seen and as uh, we can imagine how much fumes will be produced uh, until we're going down, so it will be difficult even to see where is the button to press the release. So the system must be ready before the doors must be closed and so the system will automatically, all manual will be uh, released and extinguish the fire. So in the event of the fire in the engine room, we never go down, we always listen the announcement, we're going to the master station, we prepare the firefighting equipment and after with cooperation of the teams, the emergency teams and the support teams, we're going to the scene with a special arrangement and plan. So Jack writes, hey man, can you explain how incinerator works? Is the flow of fuel continuous or when we have enough flame, the fuel is cut off until the flame weakens? So Jack, okay, we will tell some things uh, about incinerator. The incinerator that I have worked, there is stages and there is stage one, stage two, stage three stage 4 or stage 7 depends and in the first stages the di the diesel will be inserted inside the diesel the diesel and air so the temperature will be increased and then each each level and each temperature will have a different level so after that when the level and the temperature will be reached some point the sludge pump will be started together diesel and slowly slowly will reach more and more higher temperatures and after that the diesel amount will be less and after that only sludge and steam will be inserted to uh, the burner that is how it works but there is a uh, stages and all these stages there is a special uh, regulating of rpm of the sludge pump the diesel supply, the air supply and all these things will be controlled with a PLC, a control panel which have all these settings inside. Thank you Ignatius, thank you that you are a big fan of the videos, thank you very much. I am big fan of you all guys that you are watching the videos, really really uh, my dream of making a channel and showing such videos really really happened true so we have really really big material and nice material we have nice community also we have a lot of things to share and to view and there is a really really bright future for all of us here Sir, I have a question regarding stern tube sealing arrangement during sailing. If any lip seal of stern starts leaking and water coming inside, what, then what can we do? Any repairs? So, Tilu Baba, uh, yes, there is a way how to do that. You can drain some of the water that inserts, but you must determine which seal is it and what seal is being broken. So you can remove the water and the most important thing that you must uh, arrange is to not contaminate your oil. This is really, really important. 
So also it depends how much uh, damage you have on your seal. I have listened uh, some experience from our uh, friends on other ships that they have a problem with the seal. The seal was broken and just imagine from what the seal was broken from a living uh, organism on the sea like these uh, shells inserted there and broken the seal and they direct goes then direct go to dry dock immediately the leakage was so much big so the direct was uh, attend to the dry dock so it depends the leakage there is uh, also a plan of the stern tube where you can set it on emergency operation. There is some lines that you will need to set so you will be able to operate in the emergency situation until you're going to the dry dock. Can you explain the function of air re register in the boiler and how it does work? Air register? Which one air register? Uh, Ignatius, please tell about that air register. Sir, do you have website? Uh, no, I do not have website. The only uh, thing that I have, this is a YouTube channel, some Facebook account, yes, Facebook account also, and Twitter account. Can you explain the air register in the boiler and how it does work? Jack says, thank you, man. So the sludge is fed through the burner as well. Yes, there is different burner for the sludge and different uh, burner, uh, no, injection point of the diesel. It's different. But I don't know what kind of type incinerator you have. Uh, the incinerator burner uh, have... I have made this, uh, such video, I believe, for incinerator burner. Have uh, some space between the two tubes, okay? There is a tube inside inserted on the other tube. So this distance between the pipes must be specific. So you will have a better disbursement of the steam and the fuel. A mixture will be made and then this will be fired. But such installations must be made precisely. And there is also a specific way to test that kind of burner. I believe I have made such video somewhere here in the channel. You can check uh, or in the marine engineering videos or in the incinerator playlist if I have made so. So if you have air seals, you have more option with the seals if I might add. If you have air seals. Uh, Jack, please explain if you have air seals. What air seals? You have more option with the seals if I might add. Depends the incinerator, okay. I don't know what kind of incinerator you have. Uh, really describe a little bit. So if you like, we will finish uh, this kind. What you will like better? You like to finish these uh, deficiencies to see some of them and share. Or you like to go to Q&A direct, question and answers. Sorry sir, I have not checked all your videos. Have you made a video on maneuvering diagram with detail working? Yes, I have made such a video, but in this uh, maneuvering system, there is a lot of really, really a lot of pneumatic components that take place and working that uh, it will take really really big time to describe them there is a book of a man which really really describe the manual uh, describe all the steps and watch uh, what component and uh, which part how it works where it acts and all these pneumatics will open something so there will go in the same point and will activate some valve, some pneumatic uh, components. But the best way 
to understand how this system is working is to take the manual together with you and check by the numbers because this optimatics if you go locally will have some labels with numbers so by taking this number and going direct to the manual you will see uh, what this component do some of them there is for a stern for a head finish the deficiency uh, sir air seals in the stern tube sir where is citadel located in the ship air seals in the stern tube i have worked with one system with kobelko i don't know if you have the same system where we have also a air seal yes and there is a, some flow meter that shows also the quantity of air supplied but this air if i remember correct was close to the sea close to the sea uh, from the last seal of the shaft and all this air was floating outside so it will make also uh, some kind of protection from the sea water insert uh, to that space there is also some videos from Kobelko if I will find it uh, I will uh, do a video for that sure uh, mostly Shashank uh, the Citadel mostly located in the steering gear room mostly but some other ships they have a specific container they have a specific design somewhere in the engine room or somewhere in the accommodation where all the personnel will go there and will wait until uh, some help will come it depends so better we go to q a and if you like to see if you if you see something interesting from these drills or something about uh, I'd like to ask you also what you think about the videos that I have made uh, lastly here on the channel about these situations and the accidents that have take place uh, around the global what you're thinking they are good for showing and learn something interesting I believe this helped me a lot uh, as engineer also to prevent and also to have experience because if some person never know never listen something is more uh, promote to a danger it's more promote to a accident because they don't know what can happen so Akshay sir as per my knowledge if managing crank pin bend we can do much we need to go to dry dock correct me if wrong uh, if managing crank pin uh, for sure this is a big big damage mostly of uh, the damages like that big damages some of them okay as much as possible uh, to reach the dry dock or some service point but some big damage sometimes uh, it's very very risky to be down uh, on this uh, or at sea okay it's really really dangerous some of the situations but it depends hopefully uh, it will not happen to no one this kind of damages but some of damages happen and there is statistics also that have shown that some of big damage will happen in the future but to prevent that everything must be uh, as the manuals and as our good experience jack between water and oil the air is provided in the seals between water and oil yes correct some of uh, the space is oil some other space is uh, with air Gerardo in my opinion your videos are great to learn and share experience it's a great way to learn for me as student thank you yes mostly I have seen 
that the uh, new person really really helped by that one uh, new engineers and new stu students uh, really really helped I really really like about that that I have helped and also my dear friends I have made a, a exercise a seminar about two months or three months are uh, not two months before and I have made one of sub, uh, one of subscribers I have met there so this subscriber was third engineer on tankers vessels and really he told me that he liked the videos and also he told me that if I can make some videos where I will show life some pumps some machineries how we overhaul them so I will try to do that I will try a uh, whatsapp group whatsapp group uh, I believe uh, one moment I will check yes whatsapp not I'm not some group but I have whatsapp also and also messenger okay whatsapp I don't know I you will need the number of the phone if I remember properly correct uh, to connect also Instagram you can write there I don't know if you use but I uh, whatsapp I have already whatsapp messenger all that things what is your whatsapp number okay my whatsapp number is one moment six nine zero seventy one moment I will check also we can new okay one moment messenger will also do okay okay this is my number this is my phone number but I don't know if you need to put 0030 in the front so you can reach me there in the whatsapp also or the messenger messenger on, on the facebook uh, you can make a, a friend propose and i will accept there sometimes i upload also some images uh, on the facebook and on the instagram around the spaces around the travels i made and also in the messenger uh, mostly I communicate with some friends from the vessel that I have made really really I will tell you my dear friends that I have made a really really good friend from the ship that he tell me that you are like my brother and we are communicate every day together with him I'm asking how are you there so he joined the vessel my name in the facebook one moment i will see uh, it's same i believe it's same one moment i will check facebook i believe it's same insta the instagram i have uh, on the channel on the main page of the channel I have uh, a small you will see a small uh, picture of Instagram and you can press there if you go to the main page of the channel on the right on the top you will see this link sir what are main engine readings on main engine turbocharger and what check to do on watch as watch keeper for turbocharger most important is the temperatures you must check the inlet and the outlet temperatures that they are in the range of operation and also the turbocharger rpm it's really really important for the respective load you will have a respective rpm also this will depends from the weather conditions if you have a weather which is approach on the front of the vessel from the 
forward you will have much higher turbocharger rpm and also higher temperature reading so mostly you must check okay turbochargers for any abnormal vibration that they have and any abnormal noise also be careful to not go as much as close because this equipment is highly uh, high rpms and you never know when this turbocharger can blow also my dear friends be aware that a lot of chinese turbocharger have installed on the vessels and they are poor quality and also the cost of these turbochargers is really really less than normal turbocharger it's almost double or triple less than normal turbocharger and just be careful uh, i have seen these turbochargers installed on uh, diesel generators and really really uh, these turbochargers can broke and explode and really really bad consequences all these parts uh, destroy and throw around uh, like bullets so Ignatius asked me about which company I work for the moment uh, I am located in Athenian Sicarius but uh, I have work in Tsakos shipping and trading uh, uh, from apprentice to second engineer and third engineer I have worked in Tsakos also I have worked in Blue Star Ferries which is a local Roro ship company uh, here in Greece I have worked there also from third engineer to second engineer sometime and I have learned also the different system of passenger row vessels and uh, in Sakos I have worked in the container vessel, in tanker vessel but mostly in the tanker vessels and the last company that I have worked in the Athenian uh, Sicarius. So uh, the companies my dear friends for you will be a such place and you will choose the company that you will working for not the company will choose you that is true if you're a good professional you can go everywhere and you can select the environment and the ships that you are working always uh, look the ships and the company that satisfies your personal uh, goals Nadan Nadan Khan hello hope you're having a good day yes Nadan uh, I had a very very good day today was really really hot almost 40 degrees in Greece uh, in the beginning of September today but hopefully <laughs> we had air conditioning installed <laughs> and uh, the day was passed a <laughs> little bit lazy but anyway uh, I had a good day so Binke VAIMX OOW officer on watch or uh, I'm making a mistake EOEW would you have a better career choice would have a better career choice I keep in touch with the industry via Chief McCoy, yes, I have seen this channel, Chief McCoy, a really, really nice and spectacular videos. Uh, the level is really, really high. And uh, I also watch <laughs> his videos sometimes. I really like because it's like National Geographic, uh, the quality. And your channel, keep going and best of luck in your career. Thank you, Binke. Thank you very much. Uh, but explain me please this OOW and EOW this is something yes uh, to resolve a little bit these words now where are you working now in which position nada kindly if you can elaborate in fuel pump create any vibration or not if they do how are they countered and if you can elaborate if fuel pump create any vibration or not if they do how are they countered 
Uh, Nadan, what do you mean with the pump vibration, fuel pump vibration itself? What you can't say about ships which was built in China? It's normally quality ships or it is impossible to work there. I'm going to the ships 2008 year build. Thank you. Uh, Zombo, Wombo, I will tell you something uh, about uh, my small experience only with talking with the persons okay who joined the china ship personally i do not uh, join any time in the chinese ship uh, i was working only in the korean made ship for all my career i have not seen any other ships but as i have listened the china uh, vessel which was built built and i believe in 2008 was already some of the colleagues joined there they told me that uh, they have a lot of problems that the metals is not so pure as other ships and they have a lot of uh, welding like that uh, this is the most that uh, they have faced so maybe some equipment also will have some vibration okay it depends how much money uh, have been spent from uh, the owner but normally some good vessels uh, that have produced through the time because china just now start to be good in the making the vessels there is a need some time to check how they work a lot of uh, communication with the members that joined there and that is true that they had uh, some problems but uh, if you like to try to see how it is uh, in that vessel 2008 it's the 12 years old uh, ship okay eh, it will have uh, some job to do maybe a lot of job but anyway uh, it will be some experience Check that, if you are good with that, check the other also vessels, but mostly the good vessels that uh, now made is in Korea and uh, Japan and also there is some specified uh, docks that made good ships and good uh, parts of engine and vessels that will be installed there. It depends uh, how much owner will be paid for the accessories installed inside, for the metals, for the pipes. Uh, there is a pipe that costs 100 euro and one pipe which costs 10 euro just imagine so it depends from the image from the outside image all the ships are fine nadan tolls officer of the watch engine officer of the watch okay thank you for uh, the analytic Sir, can you make a video on types of vibration in the main engine and how are countered? Okay, I will try to make such video. This video, video is really really complicated for the vibration because there is a lot of moving parts of the engine and there is a lot of vibration and that's why we have seen in the cracks uh, that I have uh, shown you in the previous videos on the vessel, on the vessel's engines and a lot of vibrations that will be produced in the engine room will be assigned also to the main engine and a lot of other machineries how they place on board uh, and the vibration is really really a, a difficult situation uh, around uh, the engine room it's really really true because there's a lot of machinery plays, a lot of weights and all everything, all that things must be calculated because ship is not something static it's not stand, it's always moving and the conditions, the sea conditions also changes the load changes, the ship is loaded, the ship is unloaded and everything is like a float condition on board the vessel but really, uh, to reduce the vibrations uh, you cannot do nothing if the vessel uh, was not properly set and properly uh, built from the beginning. There are some vessels that have uh, so much vibration, so generator bearings, main bearings have problem. I have 
listen also that experience from some engineers that have shared uh, their experience just imagine uh, the improper design of the vessel can lead of the problem of main banks of diesel generator <laughs> just imagine that thing <laughs> it's so crazy <laughs> but really it happens jack bilge and doctor is used in all bilges system a uh, bilge inductor not uh, not uses in uh, all the systems some use pumps some of the systems but really uh, inductor is much much better because there's not any moving parts and it's really really nice uh, item and easy for any maintenance Raoult, Sir, can you explain why CO2 room doors are arranged to the open side instead of outside? Open side. Have read in some safety manual, but haven't explained the reason for that. What do you mean? The doors is open inside and instead uh, inside inst 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 outside. Yes, this is really strange. Also me, really, I cannot uh, see the reason why making these doors to open inside. So to room doors, okay? The, you mean the main door when you enter inside. I know prior enter the cell to room, uh, everybody must set the ventilation at at least for 15 minutes because you don't know if the area is safe for entrance as we can see that the system can be activated as we can see from the previous videos that i have made for co2 and also they can be a leakage from the piping from the bottle you never know and you must not trust uh, the system and not done Kindly, can you explain critical revolution? A critical revolution is a point that we must not operate our engine. The vibration there and the vibrations are so tremendous there that the engine can't be broke if the engine is working for a prolonged time. There is some calculations and also you can see in the gauge of uh, the RPM speed of the engine you can see that there is a barrier rpm there is about five or six rpm sometimes it's more sometimes it's 10 depend the engine but it's clearly clearly defined this point so you must not stay as much as possible in that area and the program have said so it will pass that area so far and quickly by giving a bigger amount of fuel i have seen a situation that the ship engine was stay in the critical revolution and that also was depend on the sea conditions and the set of uh, the telegraph on the bridge so i kindly call the officer on bridge and i tell him to reduce or to increase uh, the maneuvering handle the telegraph so we can pass this barrier down or forward so we will not stay there because really the vibration it's really really strong all the things have a critical uh, revolution all the engines have critical revolution also small engines big engines also some materials have critical not revolution but critical uh, let's say critical point of breaking so uh, let's say a glass a glass also can break in some critical or oh, my device is working <laughs> show me something uh, like protection like uh, a glass can broke on high level also of sound this is also a critical point of breakage of the glass where it reach some frequency the engine also revolutions is 
uh, can be defined in some frequ frequencies also produce some frequencies ah, this uh, the program of protecting my computer from the viruses <laughs> okay let's uh, where we continue kindly explain evolution your company have multinational crew any indians on board tilu uh, all the crew that i have worked mostly was filipino and greek crew but also in the chacos company i have experienced one indian guy on board he was uh, from the bridge he was uh, apprentice uh, deck officer and that uh, was my experience in board the vessel. Uh, the guy was really, really good. I have a uh, nice experience. We, uh, I was a uh, apprentice engineer in that time. And we have also one deck apprentice engineer, one engine, one more, and one deck uh, Greek, one deck Indian, uh, and two Greek uh, engineers down. And we are, were, we was really, really, a, a good team so we went to China we buy some Michael Jackson uh, videos and we watch them at night time because uh, we have a mess room that uh, have some kind of bar and we have a television and we was watching there uh, some hours it was really really nice that was a container vessel my first vessel uh, if you're looking in the AIS, Uranus Remedy, now it have uh, it changed the flag. The flag is uh, Monrovia, I believe. But that kind, that time I joined the vessel was two months old. They passing through the Atlantic Ocean and they also pass from a hurricane, which make a lot of damage to the containers. They show the images. Uh, was really like something like adventure <laughs> really that kind of see and the first really the first voyage to me uh, was like something different like uh, i was flying somewhere in the space some other uh, planet something like that was uh, the first uh, voyage And I had a second engineer, Filipino, in that time, and also a uh, chief engineer was Greek. Raut, the room where CO2 bottles are kept. Yes, the room, okay. But open inside the door, okay, instead of the side. Really, these details all the details and all the designs play some role in board the vessel they have uh, some point of making them sir what is difference between float charging and trickle charging in term of battery uh, route i need to check that uh, I, I need to check that information to answer you properly but i know that there is two ways of charging there is a long charging and there is a short charging the short charging because there is a lot of amount of amperage going to the battery can make damage to the battery itself in the internal parts uh, as i know the prolonged charging it will be much much better it will make a slow charging and with less amperage of your battery but it will make slower it will not increase temperature and will not uh, break the internal parts uh, and the, these sheets uh, of metal which is inside uh, will be not broken and will not dissolve Tilubaba make a video on the refrigeration plant on board sir I think you never made any video on refer system. I have made some videos about how to set. Okay, we will make some videos about referring system. And in these days, my dear friend, also uh, one of my friend, he asked me in some uh, comments, uh, he have a problem with uh, air conditioning plant. He told me that they start their condition, the suction pressure and discharge pressure is fine. And after that, they 
experience a fluctuation on the pressure uh, on the suction pressure and the discharge pressure so uh, I tell him to check the thermal expansion valve uh, maybe it will open too much sometimes or too less that why they have these fluctuations on the suction side and the discharge side so we will see in the future what he will answer and what will be uh, his findings about that it will be nice to see so i will try to make such video uh, about refrigeration i will collect uh, some material from photos that i have here mostly uh, some of the troubles that you can make there it's uh, the freezing on the chambers there is some electrical problems close to the panel to burn something uh, some leakages uh, there is a lot of also problems uh, that can happen there any idea about lifeboat battery sir which one is used so now in a lifeboat in our company we have two way uh, of starting we have one way with a uh, handle by manual by the hands with the spring starter and uh, the other way was with two batteries or one battery in the beginning yes and now they have uh, removed the spring starter and only we have two batteries so lifeboat batteries my opinion must be a uh, must include the best batteries that uh, are here in the market but mostly uh, our company now also the last company they say uh, they send some Chinese batteries and uh, they think that these batteries okay will keep some two years but some of these batteries they even they will not uh, <laughs> even live for one year we have found with electrician so now we communicate with one of my friends uh, via messenger and uh, he's asked me yesterday about the tank cleaning equipment uh, what problem they can have so i sent him some image and he told me where you found these images uh, i tell him that i keep uh, a lot of images from the previous ships and today he sent me some images uh, from the vessel and after that I will see what is his findings on that so through the time we increase our knowledge we try as much as possible to communicate and one good way to learn is to communicate with old and uh, experienced engineers and also with the new one something they will have to say with you and share with you all of us we have a lot of experience and also you have a lot of experience on something that i have never uh, experienced which calculus do you think are important to know as a cadet first of all the measuring of the tanks is really really important one of the most important thing and then you can start to do also uh, different kind of calculations uh, that you will need uh, to chief engineer don't wait until your chief engineer uh, license will be uh, taken start from the lowest degree so you will be more than prepared for the chief engineer calculations there in the future do we do any maintenance on emergency generator sir never saw any maintenance work on emergency generator yes for sure we do maintenance uh, on the emergency generators always and there is a lot of maintenance there to be careful and to check so there is not a uh, filters only there is not a replacement of filters there is a lot of things that we will need to see and also i will make some videos about that we have some videos here in the channel in the some playlists for sure i have made some videos with the maintenance 
and also you can see in the videos my foundings what i have found there <laughs> why we are still using gland packing in some pumps while we are have already have mechanical seals uh, shashant i believe that in some pumps we're using gland steams sorry i have a call Okay, I will answer it later. So guys, I will stay five minutes more. Please make your uh, questions and I will answer there. And after that, I will finish. One hour, it's okay. I will make another live. So uh, my opinion, why we use gland packings? Because uh, it's easy, replaceable. The cost, uh, some of them is less than the mechanical seal and also uh, some of the pumps like boiler circulating pumps uh, it's really really difficult to have a mechanical seal working there because uh, there is a high temperature there is a lot of deposits and the mechanical seal will lose as much as possible uh, fast in that conditions so gland packing is really really easy replaceable in in some conditions it, it will withstand as much better as mechanical seals that's why uh, in my opinion we are still using gland packing and we'll use also in the future until we find some better solution my dear friends uh, nadan any books for recommendation uh, there is a lot of books for recommendation uh, mostly uh, there is some uh, I have some books, okay, this is in Greek language that we have from universities but whatever book you read from uh, your school and your uh, universities it will be really really help. If you like also to share uh, here around on the channels, on the internet you can find a lot of books for marine engineering, all of them said a lot of things uh, really really big information but it depends how much information you can absorb so to absorb information uh, it's one thing and also the experience is another thing so by reading something it's not mean that we know it completely 100 percent Sir, is there any other methods of effective check leakage in refer condenser except soap bubble solution? In refer condenser, so you can do something like a pressure test, I believe. You can pressure test uh, because bubble solution not always uh, solve uh, the funding any potential leakage in such systems because we are working in high pressures and also these liquids have a lot of penetration uh, effect everywhere on all the equipment of the refrigerating system it's so thin that will penetrate everywhere Borasuno. Hey Mike, on my vessel I had Sabroe compressor for Ahu and all the time when I was starting the compressor I was opening the discharge valve of the compressor gradually. It is necessary. No, uh, I have not seen something like that. The discharge valve, you can uh, open it completely. I have not seen any problem with that uh, through the time I work on board vessels sir is there any harm if life raft is placed horizontally in steel or vertically or vertically uh, Raoult when you mean life raft is placed horizontally instead of vertically uh, mostly the life rafts they place horizontally for the reason that there is 
much more uh, space and more uh, pressure will be applied by the sea if the ship will be sunk. So the hydrostatic, hydrostatic mechanism will be released and then uh, the life raft will be opened. So my dear friends, today our session will uh, come to end. Okay, we will have another sessions and uh, I will arrange that. So in the next uh, live session, we will make also, we will continue to see our cases here. And also we will make uh, some Q and answer. Uh, and also if somebody will check this video, please also take place in our communication, in our chat and fill some answers if you feel uh, that this will help and for sure it will help. Uh, the next session, uh, monthly twice you plan a live session. Okay, I will try to do that. I will try. Sir, can you explain the difference between steam heater and electric heater and maintenance? Uh, okay, this is the last question <laughs> which I will answer. <laughs> uh, thank you everybody that you are part participating today. So about the steam heater. The steam heater uh, must be operated slowly by opening and closing. Okay, closing not so much, but by opening because there is a hammering effect that the water is condensate uh, through the piping and we must open it slowly until it heats uh, to the working temperature. But electrical heater, it will gradually by the element that the electric element is inserted inside will heat the water and will not have any such expansions. Also very good equipment is the thermal oil which also it's very very nice uh, equipment like he electrical heater and gradually will heat all the oil uh, and the material that you have on the heating element. Thank you, sir. You're great. Thank you, everybody. Baran, thank you for your live session, sir, once again. Thank you, guys. Uh, hope that we will make more frequently. Now I have much, much better uh, connection, internet connection, so it will not be interrupted and we have much, much better quality. See you in the next live session. Don't forget to stay with Adventure Story Channel. From me, bye bye. Have a good evening, everybody. Uh, morning, if you are in the other uh, part of the world. See you. And also, guys, please uh, write which is the best time for you to join uh, the live session. I like also to know that.